Portable power stations are out there by the dozens. It is harder than ever to pick out a great portable power station anymore because there are so many different names, brands, so many of the same that have different brand names. There's all kinds of it. Things to look for, lithium iron phosphate today is where it's at. You're going to have a unit in lithium iron phosphate that will last you 10 years plus. Lithium ion in these power stations is pretty much gone. That's going to be the lesser expensive model. I have a big blue CP500 sitting here. This is a lithium iron phosphate unit. It's 537 watt hours, meaning basically we can run something that is 500 watts off the AC adapter for a little under one hour. So that's gonna give you an idea of what you're gonna use this for. Very, very small electronics, something to charge things, charge drones, run a computer, a laptop, small items off this. Maybe you could run a refrigerator, a small cooler, different things like that. Or if you'd like to run a 12 volt device, 12 volt TVs, 12 volt refrigerators, all that stuff runs awesome off these. And for a longer period of time, you do have some PD 60 watt outputs. I know a lot of you are going to say, I wish it was PD 100s. I agree. But then you have two USB-A 3.0 quick chargers that are here, and I have them basically plugged in with my phone. This is a nice unit because not only of lithium iron phosphate, but also the LED screen. Very easy, very readable, very EcoFlow like in my opinion. It's nice, you can even plug this into a solar panel outside. We had this going uh, in a mediocre sunny day. We had just about 80 watts going into this unit. Very, very nice to have. Something that's gonna charge quickly and give you a little bit of output. Let's hook up some stuff to this and see what it's actually giving us for power. So we have our multimeter hooked up and basically here with nothing going, it's saying 99 hours still empty. That's basically just a time slot there. We'll plug in a phone and this is almost charged. So it's gonna tell us we're using about five watts output, which is exactly what this is going to be in a quick charge, 60 hours till empty. Then if we click on our AC adapter, I'm just gonna push a battery in there. That's gonna change everything up. We are going to change our watt output. It's gonna change our hours till empty. But we can also see over here we have 121 volts, which is perfect. I absolutely love to see that. That's going to mimic grid power. 59.71 hertz, should be 60 hertz. So we're really on the mark there. 33 hours still empty. Interestingly enough, the output watts didn't change. And that's something that kind of gets me thinking here because our hours to empty definitely did. But if we click in our battery a little bit better, maybe we can get this to go. There we go. Our battery charger is not happy, which is not good. This battery needs to be charged. There we go. Now it's kicking up. We got 132 watts out, zero watts in at this point in time, 2.6 hours until empty. I like having a screen like this so we can see everything that's going on. It tells us exactly what we should expect. And you gotta think about this. If you're picking up this unit, it's $400. Then you wanna add on a solar panel so you can add in 60, 70 watts on average on a sunny day. Now you're up another $200 more. You have $600 into this and you can run a battery charger for 2.6 hours. And that's only one. Although we're getting great voltage, a lot of good stuff around here, charge our phones and do that. That's a lot of money for something that is this small. So think about that before you pick up and purchase one of these models. Although they do have great uses, there's a lot of good things to them. Uh, it just doesn't have the runtime. When looking at these portable power stations, I always wanna look at what will it do when we plug in the AC power. We have DC, AC, and USB on. We're gonna plug in our AC power from the grid. That immediately dumped our AC output, which is not cool to me. I'd like to see the AC output be able to stay on while we're charging. We have 93 watts input, two watts out, 1.2 hours to full charge. 
DC still works, so if you were gonna run a refrigerator, a TV, anything, you could be plugging that in, charging it while it's running out. The AC is just not going to, which is sad. We see a lot of these portable power stations run through here, and this unit actually has one of the better LED screens on it. It also has some little blue LEDs around the buttons, and the buttons on this are probably one of the best buttons that we've seen. Lots of times you'll pick these up and you'll get a beautiful LED screen and a crappy button that just feels like it's an absolute toy that you should only pay about five bucks for. I like that this one has great buttons. They're very positive. They work easily. The handle on it's nice. It actually comes right up, allows you to carry it around. It's not overly heavy. And then this handle goes right back down. Pretty cool. There is an LED light on the back. If you're camping, that is something that you can use. It is one of those things where, for me, that one is a push and hold. And I, I just, I don't, get into the LED lights. It has multiple different functions and it serves its purpose, but the reality is to me, this is not always something I'm using at night. But if you're camping or anything else, you'll absolutely love that portion of it. I think it's pretty cool. Leave me your thoughts on this. As far as cost is what you would pay for 500 watts output. And it seems to me like, I know lithium iron phosphate is worth it. But man, we're getting up there in cost for something that is this small. Comments below. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.